friends. Uh, this is Rochelle from the uh, children's department in the library and we have been crafting a lot here lately. We started out making a few projects that we took to the animal shelter. We did a small little heart and uh, we put a little bell on it and it made a little cat toy and that was really cute and really fun. Um, but we also did um, some little bunny rabbits like we have right here and uh, we had some requests to show a little bit more on how to do this so um, we have this one right here is an example that I did already um, with some uh, smaller yarn sizes and then I did this big one here I'll move back a little bit so you can kind of see it um, with some way thicker fuzzier yarn and uh, made it a lot bigger and I think it turned out really cute and I got to uh, give this away as a present at a baby shower and so I'm actually going to make another one tonight so I'm excited. So anyway, so I'll get started on showing you guys how to do this. So we'll go ahead and tip this down so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So that, okay. So um, if you do not know how to crochet, what I'm going to first say is uh, get on YouTube. There are fantastic tutorials on there, um, so many that can teach you, but if you want um, some tips or tricks or a little bit of help, please feel free to contact me up here um, and I will help get you started. So the basis for making our bunny is actually just a square. And you can do this either crocheting or knitting, um, however you want to. Um, if you've ever done like a basic pot holder square, that will, that's your basis right there. That will get you started. Now it does have to be a perfect square. It has to measure the same on both sides for this to come out right, or it might look a little, a little wonky. So, um, so here was my starting uh, chain right here as an example. Um, I think I started out with uh, 20 chains right here. And uh, then from there, we just did, um, uh, single crochet with this you can um, I honestly would not go any further up um, any uh, anything bigger than a half double crochet because uh, once you start stuffing your bunny you're going to see that there's little holes in it and if you have too big of gaps then your stuffing is gonna fall out and we don't want that so um, so we have right now, I'm gonna turn this around here where you can see all you, um, now of course I did this in a different color so it would show up. Um, I think it definitely works a lot easier if you have the same color so that it's not gonna show through. But for the purpose of this video, we have um, white going through here so you can see it. So all you do is start on one side fold it over so you know your halfway point right here, your middle line. Go th take your yarn and you're just going to take a uh, yarn needle um, or darning needle. Um, they've got a couple of other different uh, various names. Um, have it go through here. Just weave your way through the middle line. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, just basically through that middle line. Then you're going to fold the top flaps down like that so that you can see where your side lines are right here. You're gonna make your yarn go through there, through that side line right there. You'll come up the top of the triangle and then you'll, you know, remeasure, go that way. And then when that part is over, you have two pieces of thread, or yarn, I mean, coming out the side. So then here's the fun part. We hold on to it right here and yank. We're gonna pull, pull, pull. Once you start doing that, you're gonna see 
this front part right here start to pucker up and it's gonna look like your bunny's face. And then we have two bunny ears right here hanging out like that. Now you're gonna need a little bit of stuffing for this, some polyfill or you know maybe you used a, you, ha you have an old stuffed animal you wanna repurpose that fluff inside or a pillow that you wanna reuse whatever you're using, put your fluff in there where your bunny's face is gonna go and keep pulling tight, okay? You're gonna pull up all the way. And <laughs> sorry if we have some uh, background music there, somebody's walking by with some music. Um, anyway, so then once you get that pulled up all the way tight, we're gonna Pull it tight like that. I personally, I mean, on the tutorial that we'll have online, um, they don't do this, but um, on this one here, his neck just wasn't very defined. It was uh, kind of slack, I guess is a good word for it. So I took one of my pieces of yarn here on the side and I put it back through the needle and I stitched just back through the neck right there and pulled it tighter so that made the neck there more defined. Um, and then once I came back around to the back of the neck, I did a couple of stitches right there just to pull it all closed and um, even from the top of the head to the back of the neck right there. You don't have to do that. If you pull it tight enough, usually the stuffing won't fall out. Um, if you're not going to be too brutal with it, but I was afraid with it going to a baby that I wanted to make sure. So once that part is done, um, you have that all tightened up right there. You're going to just again, take your darning needle and you're just going to crisscross. sew up the back right down to the corner right here. Put some more stuffing in like this and then keep on going till you have sewn that up and then weave in, uh, cut it off and weave in your ends. And then on the side here, I'll just show you my finished one right here. Um, we made a pom-pom out of yarn, which I have another video um, that's on there or I can do another uh, live on here if anybody needs help. Um, but we did, uh, we do just a little pom-pom made out of yarn. Tie it and you'll just stitch it on to the little back point area of your bunny. And then you'll be done with the body. And then at that point, it's optional if you want to add a face. Say so I did here, we did blue for the eyes and a little pink nose. You can add a mouth if you want to. Again, that part is completely optional. And then on this little guy here, I added um, a little bow. Again, lots of options you can do to add on this. Um, uh, I had to I had to do his tail a little bit differently due to the kind of yarn I was doing, but either you know it's again completely optional. And that is the basis for this bunny. Um, again, if you have any questions, um, if you want some help getting started, knowing how to crochet, um, please give me a call. I would be happy to help anytime. Um, oh yes, and um, these honestly would be great for Easter baskets. I'm going to uh, go and make one for my daughter, and again, great for baby shower presents or just your little kid, or um, you know, if you're wanting one like this and throw a bell in it, makes a great cat toy. So again, lots of options for this. Um, so if you would like to see the videos on this, uh, we, you can go to our website, which is, um, www.miamapl.okpls.org and, um, go to browse at the top, click on it and then go to craft corner, click on craft corner. And then, um, on the right side of it, it will say uh, crafting for the community and then there's I think four links right now on there and there's one on how to make a pom-pom and then how to make a bunny from a square and that will take you to YouTube links that show you kind of uh, exactly what I was doing there and anyway
today. So again, if you have any questions, uh, give us a call. Our number is 918-541-2292. And my name again is Rochelle. Uh, call and ask for me or uh, Judy or Sonia and they'll at least point you in my direction. So um, anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.